a steampunk fantasist or what have you, but I just love the idea of um, a sky teeming with dirigibles, uh, zeppelins, balloons, whatever you want to call them. But, um, yeah, large transport craft and uh, large passenger craft um, that are, are, are carried with inflated sort of sacks of uh, hydrogen or helium. And um, I've been reading up on the, sort of the chemical properties of hydrogen and helium and the possibility of making hydrogen uh, non-flammable if it's combined with helium, which seems to be the case, um, since you need oxygen and hydrogen mixed together for hydrogen to burn, um, which is sort of the same principle really with burning anything. Um, you know, things don't burn in environments where there's no oxygen. So, um, yeah, it's it's a lovely, lovely idea. I think you're getting all these lorries off the roads, having um, transportation craft um, or like uh, storage containers or, you know, lorry cargo holds on dirigibles and having these float up and down the country and get traffic off the roads, um, make them electric. Um, so they don't emit as much carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And, you know, it was like the Hindenburg disaster, wasn't it? That um, kind of really uh, stopped, you know, people uh, manufacturing and using zeppelins quite as much as planes. But, I mean, I'm just tempted to think, you know, I mean, oh, everyone died in the Hindenburg disaster. Oh, hydrogen is so flammable. Like, jet fuel is flammable. It's kerosene. Shoot down an, air an airline plane like all flying machines that we have or well, they contain flammable chemicals is how it is you know i mean why not use balloons zeppelins i'd love to see that you know or, oh look it's the dirigibles flying overhead lovely mixing it with hydrogen uh, helium that might make it safer to some extent I'm just wondering, like, what sort of materials we could be applying in terms of um, the construction of their hulls, um, just to make them even more safe. Kevlar, possibly. I mean, you know, how light is Kevlar? I've never actually picked up a bulletproof vest. But, I mean, if you can stop people shooting them, Kevlar? Kevlar's not that, not that heavy, is it, really? And and how light does a, a zeppelin need to be a dirigible? Pretty light, I think. I think. <laughs> yeah, I'll fill in with helium again. Come on. <sighs> yeah, oh, I can't go onto a zeppelin. I'm, I'm afraid of it blowing up. It's full of hydrogen. I'm afraid of going onto a plane because the wings are full of kerosene. Planes crash. They're playing crashes where everyone dies and they all burn alive. <clears throat> no one survived Lockerbie. You know, if you're that fucking really paranoid about going on a Zeppelin, make them into drones then. You know, and let them, like, ferry freight up and down the country. Why is that hard? Ease traffic. Roads nice and clear. Electric. Propellers, emissions down. <laughs> Upset the Civil Aviation Authority, wouldn't it? I'd give them more work to do, wouldn't it? Oh, I so want to see that sort of thing happen. It'd be beautiful. Beautiful thing, seeing Zeppelins. It's because it's German. That's the real reason why people don't want to do it. It's like, oh, you know, you see, like, um, an image of like the Graf Zeppelin floating over the Empire State Building with a swastika on its tail. Like, there's something we associate with Germany and evil, but Britain's also evil. So is America. It was like Boeing, like, uh, so, oh, look how dangerous Zeppelins are. Like, get on a plane instead. It's made by Boeing, you know. Forget Boeing, probably did that shit. Not the actual disaster itself, but, you know, making a mountain out of a molehill over it.